My hand doesn't work. Oh. The other night, you told me not to drive drunk, so I fell asleep on my arm, and now look at my wrist. You've been using that excuse for the past three days, though, and it, I'm just not happy anymore. You don't help me with the chores, and I just have to do everything by myself. What's the real problem here? Welcome tonight to OT422. Tonight's story is affecting couples across the nation. Radial nerve palsy, commonly referred to as wrist drop. Luckily tonight, we have with us the world-renowned occupational therapist, Ashley Palmer. She has worked with numerous couples with an incredibly high success rate. Let's hear it for Ashley Palmer. Thank you for having me here tonight, Molly. Good to see you, Ashley. In the clip before, when someone becomes intoxicated and ends up falling asleep on their radial nerve and putting pressure to it, which causes damage to the nerve. It is also called honeymooner palsy. Hmm. Tell me more about that. That could happen when a couple is cuddling and the woman's head is usually putting pressure on the radial nerve, which is somewhere in the armpit region. Okay. That makes sense. So what are some other things to know? Oh, look at this picture. Hmm. This is just giving you a good example of the radial nerve. As you can see, it comes down through the armpit reg region into the wrist and even into the hand. Oh, okay, that makes more sense. Some of the symptoms that you may get while you have the wrist drop is that you are unable to extend your wrist, so it drops, and you have sharp burning or aching pains, and you have progressive weakness, lack of dexterity, or swelling in the wrist or in the dorsum of the hand. Yeah, I could see how couples fight about this a lot. This just gives you a good example of what you may see when your wrist is dropping. Okay. So how do you help um, couples with this since you're such a high success rate? Sometimes it just goes away by itself, but if that doesn't happen, we can give you ideas on over-the-counter medicine to reduce the pain and the swelling or we can splint or brace your wrist to help you out with that. And in the worst case scenarios, there is surgery. Oh man, so what types of surgeries? It's a tendon transfer, but this is the most severe cases. Okay, so have you ever had to have people um, have surgery for this? I've only had... Thank you for tuning in to tonight's story. Come back tomorrow because we are too legit to quit.